place is no ordinary dessert. It's the skinniest of skinny yogurts. The slimmest of slimline dairy products. The sexiest of creamy colloidal suspensions you will ever slide between your lips. This yogurt is unique. It's been masterfully created in a natural laboratory. This is no ordinary yogurt. I'm back in the food lab because something horrid has happened to my yoghurt. In fact, I go so far as to say this isn't even yoghurt. Look at this. That is a blatantly milky sort of a sound. I would go so far as to call this milk. So, how can we convince milk to become yoghurt? And what exactly makes yoghurt yoghurt? Yes, there's physics involved, and yes, I have a real scientist here to keep me right. We don't need her yet. Milk has proteins which form a stable mixture of water and fat, an emulsion. But how can we turn that emulsion into a solid? You can whap it into the freezer and hope for the best, but there is a way to do this at normal room temperature. All you need is some pocket pasta, some milk, a little bit of lemon juice, and your stirring stick. So, first things first, we are just going to pour while agitating the milk some lemon juice in, like so. Give that a moment to relax. There, I know what you're thinking. Those look awfully similar. Surely that's just milk. But that's why we have a handy dandy pocket pasta. Into this, milk, and sinks instantly. But how about over here? Voila! Solid milk. So, technically, you have just made yogurt. Why don't you taste it? Why not indeed? I'd love to. For science? Oh, it, it certainly has an interesting texture, doesn't it? Thank, no, thank you for recommending. It's certainly very sharp. So actually, that was the first stage to making cheese. All you have to do now, stir it a little bit, and then strain it. Well, we have the equipment here, so I think I'll do just that. Whoosh. Look at that, isn't that delicious? It looks like we have bits of solid floating in liquid. So what you have there is curd cheese. It's one type of making fresh cheese. Well, it's, um, it certainly has a, a strong aroma. Very intense physics happening deep in that mixture. Perhaps uh, you could explain exactly what that is. Me? If you'd be so kind. We have a few things in our milk. Some fat droplets with proteins around them and other proteins just floating on their own. In normal conditions, proteins protect themselves and the droplets from sticking when they bump into each other. But when we add lemon juice, the proteins are destabilized by the acidity. So now when the droplets or proteins bump into each other, they will attach. They start forming a sort of web or network. It is a solid because the particles cannot move freely anymore. We scientists call this a gel. The water is trapped in the web. It is between all these proteins and droplets, so it is part of the solid. But if we mix it to make cheese, then we break the network and bring the droplets and proteins together into blobs. Now, if we remove the remaining water, we have made curd cheese. It's all about these crazy, amazing proteins. If you get them sticky, they'll form a solid by creating a network that actually holds the water in. And if you were making nice yogurt that actually tasted good, you wouldn't add lemon juice. Instead, you'd add good bacteria, which turns the lactose in the milk into an acid. In fact, for cheese making, what we use is rennet. It contains enzymes which make the proteins sticky by eating bits of them. Ah, can't beat a bit of cannibalism at the molecular level. Cheers. <laughs> I love yoghurt, and I don't regret taking this job. <laughs> oh, that texture has associations now. Yeah. 
Mm, delicious. <laughs> Cheers to I you. I wasn't prepared for it to be Greek yogurt. <laughs>